Oh my god. Far out, I'm blind. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I do apologize, today's video is extremely impromptu. I was actually just in the middle of doing some work and I really wanted to sort of explain myself on here um, as to why I did what I did. So I have nothing planned, I'm just going to chat to you guys about it. But today I'm going to talk to you about why I essentially lost all of my Instagram um, subscribers, Instagram followers and have started a brand new fresh account. So for those of you who don't know, I think it was two days ago I sent out a picture on my Instagram telling all of you guys that I would be switching over to a brand new account. Now this did cause some questions because a lot of people were like, you've got, you know, over 15,000 subscribers on this account, why would you sort of waste all of that and just go start fresh? And I can completely understand that concern, however, my Instagram is tainted, no, haunted, I think is the best way to describe it. No, I don't know. But I have had that Instagram forever, like it was the Instagram that I started way back when, you know, before I even started blogging or on YouTube, and it was just my personal account. And I was actually really reluctant to get an Instagram in the first place. A lot of my friends had Instagram. I was super late. I didn't think I got it until 2013 or something like that. So I was like super late, but a whole bunch of my friends are like, no, no, you have to get Instagram, whatever. So I did. Anyway, back then, obviously way before I was blogging, way before I was on YouTube, I just put up personal pictures and stuff like that. And I actually met a few people. Oh, well, no, I didn't even meet them. They were my friends and they were like, obsessed with Instagram and they were obsessed with that whole like insta famous thing and these guys they were like friends that I used to hang out with would always tell me how they did this like whole following and unfollowing and it would get you heaps of followers and then you had to hashtag like follow for follow and like all of this stuff so I was like oh, man whatever like I didn't really think anything of Instagram so I thought it was more so like just a game thing so I used to do all of that stuff as well and it increased my followers like quite a bit but you know it's all rubbish accounts like it's literally people who don't even know who you are. But I didn't really care because obviously like my Instagram was just my personal Instagram. I posted like rubbish on there like pictures of me and my friends on the toilet. Anyway, those are deleted, don't worry you can't find them now. <laughs> but. Fast forward to when I started my Instagram, sorry, my blog and my YouTube channel. Obviously, in addition to having those social media outlets, having like a Twitter and Instagram is something that goes hand in hand with that. So, when I started the Bikini Body Guide, I started posting a lot of fitness stuff and my Instagram turned into a fitness account supplementary to my blog and my YouTube channel. I didn't think of starting a new one, I just rolled on. So I still had quite a few followers, but they were all rubbish obviously from that follow unfollow saga. But yeah, so my Instagram started to slowly organically grow through the posts that I, pictures that I was posting and stuff. And then the most amazing thing, or what I thought was the most amazing thing happened to me, but because I was doing the Kayla Itzinas Bikini Body Guide, Kayla Itzinas actually reposted one of my transformation photos. And this is when she had like 3 million subscri uh, followers, I keep saying subscribers, because we're like here on YouTube. She had like 3 million followers or something like that. And I kid you not, I was sitting there with my phone with George in bed and I was like, Every single time I would log on, it was like 70 new followers, 100 new followers. I ended up getting like, I think it was well over 2,000 followers in the space of like 24 hours just from having that picture reposted. So from there, obviously I was like a bit tied to this whole bikini body guide thing, but it was fine because I was actually still doing the bikini body guide. And I would like post my pictures and I would just get heaps more followers and stuff like that. My followers got up to like 10,000 there. but. That was back in 2014 and as you may know if you've been following me since then my channel has not only evolved, my channel, my blog, my Instagram, everything, me, I have not only evolved way past the bikini body guide but sort of fitness altogether like fitness is still a huge part of my channel and a huge part of my blog but it's not the only thing that I focus on and that's where bring what brought me to the decision to change my Instagram because of all the stupid stuff that I used to do with like the follow unfollow stuff and also with the followers that came to me purely for the bikini body guy I have just found that the engagement on my Instagram where I have deferred my interests has been really low. So it's almost like I just wanted a fresh start. Yeah. 
I could have definitely stuck with it and, you know, done those things again, potentially follow, hashtag follow, unfollow, or whatever it is, I don't know. But I could have easily just stuck with it and done all of those tricky things that you can do to get likes and followers, but I didn't want to. I just want people to follow me because I have something to say and I want people to follow me because they want to hear it, if that makes sense. So yes, I have completely changed my Instagram. I have gone from having over 15,000 subscribers to about 300, which is completely fine by me. I just want a fresh start. So that is why I did it. If you're in a similar situation, I know it's hard to essentially leave those numbers behind, but they are just numbers. And you've got to understand that, so you might lose over 10,000 or over 50,000 or something subscribers followers but the people who do come with you are going to be the ones who truly mean something if that makes sense like I do social media for a living I have a social media company and I grow accounts every single day and I know what real engagement looks like and what I was getting on my Instagram was just not that it was just so stagnant and yeah it was just time for a fresh start so don't care about the numbers numbers don't mean anything people are behind those numbers and the people who care about you will follow you regardless so in saying that, if you didn't know, I have changed over my Instagram. If you were following my old one, I will be getting rid of that one soon. Like, um, I'll be, you know, with the new algorithm, it's really hard for people to know if you're changing over because you're not always going to be in their feed. So I'm going to give it like a month and I will roll over into my new one. But yes, I will probably be either closing that account or just making it completely inactive. Um, so my new Instagram is what my old one was. It's just at Erin May Henry. So I would really appreciate it if you guys did follow me there if you want to see what I post. So yeah, that is the story of why I changed my Instagram over. But to give you guys a little bit of extra benefit in this video because, you know, talking about why I changed over, it's not that super exciting. A few of you have asked me to explain to you exactly how I like edit my Instagram pictures and how I like stick with my feed, my theme. I've stuck with the same theme, theme, feed, you know what I mean, on my new Instagram. So I'll show you guys how I do that today. Okay, so I'll show you what my um, feed looks like. So as you can see, it's just like this brownie sort of undertone theme. To give you a better idea, I'll show you what it looked like on my old account when it loads, my internet's super slow. So as you can see, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like crisp white or anything like that. It's just these photos have all been edited with the exact same filter and it just gives them this sort of brownie, like old schooly undertone. I did used to have a white feed, but I found that really hard to maintain because you'd always have to have white in the photo. And this is also way easier to edit. So I just can take a photo of absolutely anything and then I just apply one filter to it and maybe make some small adjustments, but it pretty much is very consistent. So the app that I use to edit all of my Instagram pictures is a VSCO cam or Visco cam or whatever you want to call it. And I really like it because you can also see what the pictures look like together. Obviously I haven't posted all of these images and there's some that I've edited for my friends, but um, today I'm just going to show you. So I have this picture of this burger and chips. This is exactly how it looked when I took it. It obviously is very dull and very boring. So all I do is I go into these two little lines here and that is where you can either edit the photo manually or you can choose to put a filter over it. And I don't think they come with Visco Cam. I think they are ones that you have to purchase, but I use the A series and the filter that I mostly use is A6. So as you can see, that has already brightened that image up completely. But if it doesn't look exactly the way that I want it to, I, I go also into the manual editing tools here and sometimes I will just fiddle around with the exposure and also maybe the contrast just to make it a little bit more crisp and vibrant. Now I'm not exactly sure how this does come up on the camera however I'm going to do a full post on how I edit my Instagram pictures and post that on my blog so that will just be at www.erinmayhenry.com and I will show you some before or after pictures before and after pictures so you can see exactly that for yourself. So guys that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course if you have any further questions as to why I changed over my Instagram or how I did it or how I'm re rebuilding my audience or anything to do with Instagram then just leave them in the comments below and of course if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I put up new videos every single Wednesday and Sunday thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next time